Hey guys, it's Domestic Chris here with another episode of Mickey Money Monday. This week's episode, we're going to talk about the advanced dining reservations that I plan to make here in two more days for our trip in January 2017. Yes, guys, we are at 182 days. It is July 4th, 2016. Happy Independence Day. Thank you so much for joining me today or the next day or whenever you find me. And we're going to talk about advanced dining reservations or ADRs. When you're staying on Disney property, well, actually, really, even if you're not, you can set these up for 180 days. The benefit to staying on property is you get 180 plus 10 so they can count for your stay there that you can make your reservations all while you're there we're going for marathon weekend and a little bit before that which i think is going to give me a huge heads up um, when i'm making my reservations on wednesday because i will be booking my reservations probably before most people are going most people i think based on my research actually go just for the race and maybe stay a little later. Um, I'm sure there are some other people like me who are coming early, but I think the vast majority of people are gonna come later. And I think that's gonna give me a heads up as far as getting the things that I want. So what are the things that I want? So the day we arrive, we're actually gonna be kind of getting there the night before and staying at my aunt's house. And so I anticipate eating breakfast at her house. Then we are going to go to Hollywood Studios and have lunch at Hollywood and Vine, which is a character meal. I've ate there before. Uh, it's okay. I, I enjoy it. I like the experience with the characters. That's what I feel it's all about. And then for dinner, we're going to do the hoop de doo review, the late show, because that's the show that you can use your Tables in Wonderland card for, since we are getting annual passes and purchasing the Tables in Wonderland. And I'm going to get these late dinners out of the way before the race starts. Okay, so then the next day um, is going to be our big Magic Kingdom day. So I plan to do Crystal Palace as early as I can so that we can be there at Rope Drop or before the park opens. Um, then I'm going to make a reservation for Be Our Guest, but we're actually just going to be getting a snack there, like the gray stuff or something. Um, we're going to go to the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique that day, and so then we're going to do Cinderella's Royal Table for dinner. Then the next day is the day of the expo for the race, and we're going to do Ohana's early for breakfast so that right after breakfast we can head to the expo early and get my race packet and information and fun stuff from there. Then we are going to do a resort hop that day and so I plan on going to a Port Orleans which I don't need a reservation for this but we're going to get some gluten-free beignets and then for dinner we're going to go to the Spirit of Aloha show where my uncle has worked for 46 years. 40, no, 72, 44 years. Yes, a long time. And I'm so excited to finally see the show. And again, to use tables in Wonderland discount, you have to go to the late show. So we're going to go then. Then the next day is the 5K race, which is short. And we're going to go to Akershush for breakfast. And I feel like we can make that pretty early. And I'm just going to have my family meet me at the park so that we can all get in together and go. Um, I don't think I'll be too terribly nasty um, after the 5K. If I am, we can go back to the room uh, for lunch. Most of my lunches are just snacks. I'm planning pretty much two meals a day. We'll grab Mickey bars or popcorn. And then for dinner, this is our one quick service. And we're going to go to the Yorkshire Fish Place in um, England. Because my kids love fish and chips and they have gluten-free fish. Then the next day is the 10K. Again, not a super long race. Uh, and so we're going to do Chef Mickey's for brunch-ish. Um, it'll take me a little bit longer. And I hear sometimes his 10Ks can be like a point-to-point -point race, which means I can drive to one end and ride my bus to the other. But one way or another, I'm going to have to get a bus to somewhere. <laughs> and so uh, to give me a little time, we're going to have Chef Mickey's for brunch. Then... Um, this is going to be another Magic Kingdom day, I think. This is kind of a flex day, but I'd like to go back to Magic Kingdom. And then we're going to do Whispering Canyon early-ish, not too late uh, for dinner. I've never been there before. Actually, most all of these places, aside from Hollywood and Vine and Crystal Palace, yeah, I haven't been to, so I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, then um, next is the half marathon, and we're going to do 1900 Park Fair, 
I have been there, but not for breakfast. And we're going to get in at the latest breakfast time that we can. So it'll be sort of brunchy. There's different characters in the morning that I haven't seen before. And um, I'm going to have my dad meet us there that day. And then this is going to be a day that we just kind of run around Orlando and um, take my children and my mother-in-law and show them places around Orlando that I really like. I've been to, lived, and we're going to do dinner at T-Rex. I'm not concerned about making reservations for T-Rex because as a Landry Select card member, you get pretty much instant access. You get priority seating above everybody else. And I've experienced that twice over now at Bubba Gump's and Rainforest Cafe in Chicago where there were pretty long lines and we just sat right down. And I've heard other people say the same thing happens down there. So um, if I can make a reservation, I will. If not, I'm to totally not concerned about it. And then the next day is the full marathon. And that's going to take me a while. So um, my mother-in-law, I'm just going to have her take the kids to the um, have breakfast at our resort. And then afterwards, it's going to be our Animal Kingdom Day. It's going to be our last park day. And we're going to be eating lunch at Rainforest Cafe and dinner at Yak and Yeti Sit Down. And, you know, I feel like Animal Kingdom is just... It's, it can be a lot of walking, but I also feel like it can be, it can be chill. It, it, you know, this is often sadly considered a half day park. And so I feel like we'll be, it'll be a good place to go after the full to just kind of chill. And both of those restaurants are again, part of the Landry Select should get priority seating. No problem. I will again attempt to make reservations, but if I can't, I'm not concerned. And then the next day we're going to leave. So I plan on bringing some snacky type things to have to take into the parks to have for my children. If they get hungry before it's time for our race, um, post race meal for my mother-in-law to give them. But for the most part, we're just eating a big, all you can eat brunchy breakfast snacks whenever we're hungry and again a big supper type of deal and I just have to be mindful of my time so aside from those first two nights where we have to do the later shows we'll be eating dinner fairly early and heading back to the room so I can go to bed because it's like a 2 30 a.m wake up to be ready to get on the bus at three o'clock in the morning so we're not like shutting down the parks or anything like that I need to rest be eating some foods that I'm familiar with similar to the things I cook at home not a lot of greasy fast food yucky stuff so that's another part of the reason why we're doing mostly signature type sit down meals because I can get real good food okay and uh, that's it that's it for my advanced dining reservations so if you guys haven't noticed I'm trying to get some things happening on the channel uh, you can't see it but I have a tripod now and I'm trying to make some small investments into my channel so that I can not only give you good content because I feel like I'm already doing that but give it to you a little better quality um, you may also notice down here somewhere on the bottom left corner yeah, um, there is a new watermark. I have a logo that's also on my banner and it's on my Twitter page too. I think it's so super cool. Please let me know if you like this image. I'm thinking about some things that I'm going to do with that in the future. I just got that done on a website called fiverr.com. I heard about it from the Lemon Sisters during our collab time and I'll put the link down there if you're ever in the need for any kind of logo or really they can do pretty much anything on there. All kinds of digital and non-digital things so I'll link that below. Um, the other things that I want to talk about is I'm not sure if my numbers post for visible for everyone last week. Um, I didn't have my numbers ready when I met with the Lemon Sisters. I was just so excited. So I'll run down last week's savings as well as this week. So last week I had $20 from the sale of Elite Pad that I had. My daughter had broke hers. I replaced it. Then I heard that Leap Pad would replace it and they did. And then when I tried to return the other one, Books a Million wouldn't take it back. So I sold that for $20. I had earned a Starbucks reward and I paid myself $5.65. Um, I had $8 from Fazoli's Kids Meals, $15 for Texas Roadhouse Kids Meals, and um, $65 in M perks. So I saved $113.65 just last week. Now this week, I had $10 in Texas Roadhouse Kids Meals, 
we like to eat there. Um, $54 in Imperks, uh, $1.89 in uh, Speedway drink. I had a free one, I bought one. Uh, $5 in Disney Movie Reward, Starbu um, Starbucks, Star Wars. They had these such a good deal, um, but it was limited and we could only get, we only had enough points to get one, but $5 here. And then um, some of you may have seen this in my uh, house party. They sent me a $25 American Express gift card in order to purchase some um, food and uh, Kikuman products to use for my um, house party that I had with our 4th of July party on Saturday. And those are things that I was going to buy for my party anyway, so I'm adding that money to my fund. And so that's $95.89 that we've saved again into the FUD. And this is all bonus. It's going to start working towards my Disneyland trip. And then for another Disney trip in April for the dark side half. I'm really excited. And as I can get a little closer and get some numbers, I'll start changing the description box below and adding in these other vacations. Uh, this is what I got with um, my money from Kohl's. I told you I was going to show you guys. It's this cute little reversible mini little sweater. It doesn't have pockets, but it's still super cute and I love it. My friend also gave me a late birthday present. It's Tinkerbell there and it says, I do believe in fairies. So I haven't taken this off since she gave it to me. I'm so ashamed of myself. I left a a present that I got downstairs very special to me, but it says love and um, it has some little Mickey and Minnie sitting on the love and it's that awesome artist who does stuff for Disney that's eluding me right now and I'll try to put his name in here somewhere, but he does really cool stuff and I love it. I put it on my, my shelf. Then one more thing I'll share with you guys. My younger brother who gave me the heart-shaped Mickey and Minnie piggy bank that we've, you know, he filled and we added a little bit more to it and got all the money we needed for Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique dresses and our trip from, you know, the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique we're actually going to pay from that. He came to our party and brought some gifts for my children and I. There was towels and some Mickey ears for the girls and cups and um, posters from Finding Dory, super cute ones. But he's so thoughtful. He brought us not one, but two new piggy banks. And there's money. There's actually money in both of them, but we consolidated. We finished filling up our Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse heart because he was getting pretty full and then um, we put most of the change just in one and we're going to work on filling these now too so yay I'm so excited I can't wait to tell you guys how much is in this. Now that we have more piggy banks I have probably let Mickey stay full and then work on filling these and then take them all in at once and see how much money is in there. I know you guys, I'm kind of rambling, but I want to tell you that next week we're going to have two videos. I'm going to have Mickey Money Monday where I will announce the winner of the Lemon Sisters collaboration giveaway. If you haven't already gone and um, done the things that you need to do, I'll link below. Uh, you need to go to my previous video and also to their video. Subscribe to both of us. This handy dollar sign button down there can help you if you're not already subscribed here to Domestic Chris. And subscribe to them and comment on both of those videos. Those instructions are in my previous video as well. And then I'll have so the winner from that. I'll let you know if I got my dining reservations and Anything else that's cool, it comes up between now and then, I'll tell you. But the other video will be a collaboration. It will be a week-long collaboration between me and six other Disney channels running Monday through Sunday. I'll have my video up on Monday first, introducing you to the topic at hand and linking all the channels and dates for when everyone will be posting their videos. And I'm super, 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 super excited about it. And I hope you guys will check it out. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you real soon.